Hello everyone and welcome to my craft room again. Um, my name is Julianne Richards and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in southern Tasmania. I could usually say sunny southern Tasmania but today is far from sunny. Um, it's uh, particularly rainy but it's really nice so I think we looked in our rain gauge overnight and we have um, what did I say? 36 mil, which is about an inch and a half rain overnight. So that was pretty, pretty rainy. I'm just going to check my sound. Yep, seems to be working. We've got a couple of people on already. Kathy, go, oh, Kathy Mason. Good morning, and Susan. Hi, welcome again, Susan. Um, anyway, yeah. So uh, welcome everyone who's coming on board this morning. This is day. Oh, what is it? Day four of my Christmas. Um, 12 days of Christmas challenge probably more of a challenge to myself than anyone else probably a challenge to you guys having to watch me every day um, but so thank you for coming along those of you who are in, coming along for the ride um, today I'm going to be giving you the promised non card item uh, 3d item um, as uh, just to, to prove that uh, stamping up just isn't all cards we're going to be doing something a little bit different it is actually going to be a little gift bag so still paper related still gift related but um, a little paper bag um, for giving um, for uh, giving gifts in and a, um, a matching sort of tag gift tag and I'll just show you the one that I've made previously here my little prototype um, I've got the gift bag there using the lovely Christmas gleaming um, designer series paper which I'm sure a lot of you have probably got in your stash um, and the gift tag, <clears throat> excuse me, I've made from scratch using the Stitch Stars die dies, which to be honest I haven't used a lot of, the odd star here and there, but I've decided to um, to feature it um, properly with this little gift tag. Um, so you can obviously write on the back, there's not much room on the front. I was going to leave a little bit of room up here, but um, it's sort of the stars got out of control and uh, took over so you'd have to write on the back of this one um, forgive my popcorn we're on a get get fit or, or get back to being fit after COVID lockdown in my house at the moment and the popcorn was the only thing that I could find to put as an example in my bag we haven't got a, a lolly or a chocolate anywhere to be found so which is good for the uh, diet but it's not so much good for the uh, demonstration so if you can imagine come along with me on the ride and imagine that that is uh, chocolates or M&Ms or, or all those yummy things I'm making myself hungry um, then we'll, we'll go well so anyway I'll show you how to make the little gift bag plus I'll show you how to make the gift tag as well so we'll just get started okay so the good thing with this gift bag is that you can get two of them out of a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock of uh, design series paper so basically a single bag is 6 inches by 12 inches so that's what 15 by 30 centimeters and um, I'll show you the scoring um, so be very 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 as I found out be very careful when you're scoring design a series paper you do not have to go very um, very heavy with your scoring tool because um, obviously designer series paper is not um, cardstock so you're going to go straight through it which I did on a number of occasions already okay so as I say we've got a six inch by 12 inch piece of designer series paper and um, along the short edge you want to score it at uh, one inch and then so one inch from one end and then again at I'll turn it around so I can see and then again at an inch and a quarter from the other end from the other side so we're scoring at an inch and a quarter oh, good. and don't get your cutting blade and your scoring guide blade mixed up that is also a bit of a disaster I did that several times yesterday as well so we're scoring at one and a quarter inch from one end and one inch one straight inch from the other end just like that then flip it sideways and you're going to score it at uh, four inches so four inches getting a scoring tool not your cutting tool <laughs> oh god I'm gonna do it I know I am uh, five and three quarters so scoring at five 
score and then nine and three quarters I'll put all these measurements in the um, description don't so don't worry too much so nine and three quarters and at eleven and a half and the eleven and a half one is just the little tab for um, for gluing obviously okay so what we've got there if I fold all these score lines up is and it's going to fold this way we've got we've formed ourselves a little square or rectangular cylinder there there we go okay so I'm just going to get rid of my scoreboard or my trimmer my wonderful trimmer and we'll start assembling this so what you're going to have and oh a hint with this excuse my voice a hint with this is choose a paper that you like both sides of because we are going to flip this one inch tab over onto the outside so if you hate 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 the other side of the paper you're going to um, not like it when you flip it over because you're going to see it on the other side so so I'm just flipping this one that's our little what we call our little hem at the top it's quite pretty then we're going to do is it's going to basically fold up like that so I'm going to grab your scissors if I can find them yep grab your scissors and basically cut out up to this is your it's probably a bad paper to choose this is your one and a quarter inch um, uh, score line here so basically take all your little score cut all your little score lines up to that one and a quarter inch mark just so you can fold them over fairly standard box making technique really so just all those little tabs up to up to the quarter to the one and a quarter inch score okay so then all we need to do we'll grab some glue make sure all those lines especially this top one where it's doubled over make sure they're scored nice and sharp I'm going to grab some glue pop it on this little half, um, half inch tab that we cut that we for our gluing come on guys this glue has been stubborn all morning all the way down grab some glue and bring this flap over and seal it down so as I say make sure you like your paper because you're going to see both sides I'm just going to score these sharp and then fold it the other way and score these sharp as well okay so there you've got the starting shape of your box and we're going to flip it over to where we've cut those little tabs and basically just fold them down and glue them so we want some glue double sided tape works well for these boxes as well I find that you don't have to worry about it not sticking but I'm using glue here so just glue that and firm it down might flip it give it a couple of seconds to start um, drying uh, so while I'm doing that I'll see who's on Kathy hello Kathy and Maria and Sally and Jenny good morning Jenny and Teresa oh my goodness there's so many of you and Leanne hey Leanne and Kathy another Kathy Kathy Isles and Faye and Gwenda oh my goodness so many thank you guys thank you for joining me we've just started daylight savings here in Hobart so in in the Eastern Australia so although it's 10 o'clock on the clock it's actually nine o'clock in my in my brain so um, probably a little bit stumbling over my words I had an extra coffee to compensate so there we go right so there's our little little box that's really really cute now you could if you wanted to oh actually I'm going to pop a little bit of glue this is the tab here the end of our um, fold over so I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue there so it doesn't stick doesn't stick up okay cool so there's our little box now if you were thinking ahead and you wanted to you could score another line here on this side and here on this side and force those two sides together 
and actually seal your box up like that. Um, but I'm leaving this one open because obviously my popcorn has to fit in there. Anyway, so that's cool. So that's a really nice paper. So I took inspiration from the stars and the gold on this paper and when I designed the, um, the gift tag. So let's put the box aside for a second and we'll bring out the stuff for the gift tag. Okay, so I have obviously cut myself a little gift tag. Um, that is two inches wide and five inches long and I've popped it through the tag maker punch which is really really handy and I use it a lot um, just there and given it a punch to make the end of the gift tag very handy punch if you guys are into punches then I have some things that I've punched out use uh, die cut using the um, the star the stitch star in some gold foil so the good thing, and I'll show you the, the stars, you get lots of stars for your money with this die set. So if you're into value for money, this is definitely it. I've, the main one I've used is this sort of uh, swirl of stars. I suppose it's a sort of, it's got lots of curls and stars all embedded in it. So I've cut that one out of the gold foil. And the good thing is that when you cut that, you get all these little stars that fall out. So you actually get more stars for your buck so to speak. So if you cut this one out, I'll show you what you get. So I've got this cute little swirl of stars here. Some of the bits haven't come out. So I'm going to use that. That's pretty awesome. Making sure you can see it. I'm in the camera properly. You can see that one. And you get, what have I got here? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, piece of design series paper five little stars so you know you don't have to keep cutting and cutting and cutting you just get your five stars and I dropped an important piece of paper then and I can't find it I might have to cut it again oh. anyway I'll cut it again okay we'll have to get our my trimmer out again but anyway we'll do that in a moment okay so we've got the, the stars and the little bits that fall out. Then I have also cut from um, from Knight of Navy cardstock. I cut I have cut this star. So one of the larger stitch stars. No, not quite that large. Might be this one. So the what third or fourth largest star. If I can get it out, cut my fingernails and I can't get anything out. So yes, I've cut this star here but inside it I cut out another hole using a smaller one so using this one so sort of see I've cut the outside and then the inside just to give us this sort of star outline which is quite cute and using that same one there I've cut another star out of um, pretty peacock which is one of my favorite colors goes really really well with the knight of navy Okay, so that's the stars I've cut. Got a piece of designer series paper there. Should have two pieces of designer series paper, but the other one fell on the floor. And I haven't got my glasses on, so I can't see where it fell. But anyway, I'll cut another one. So what I'm going to do is pop that piece of designer series paper towards the bottom of our tag, but sort of just showing a tiny bit of the of the um, very vanilla. Oh, sorry, that's very vanilla. The tag, not whisper white. It's very vanilla. Okay, so we'll pop that down there. So that also is two inches wide, and I think it's about an inch uh, um, deep. There. The second piece was going to go right up the top here, but it was only very thin, so I'm going to have to cut that again. So it's also going to be two inches wide, long, but only half an inch. Deep. Here we go. Make sure I haven't taken anything with me on back on the back of my trimmer then. Okay, so that one's gonna pop just up here. Just for a bit of balance. Okay. 
this stuff here. Okay. Then I'm going to bring from the, oh, I mustn't leave it out. And it's really important. I want to get the Christmas gleaming. I think it's the Christmas gleaming. I'm definitely going to have to find my glasses so I can have a look. Bear with me. I'm going to find the Christmas gleaming stamp set, which I popped away and didn't bring back out again. Yep. So the Christmas gleaming stamp set, which is the one that comes in the bundle with the paper, has got these little dots. And you wouldn't think that dots were really, or little speckles are really important, but they seem to add some really nice background to things. So I'm going to grab these little spots. And I'm going to grab some grey ink, some grey granite ink. And I'm just going to put some like random little background stamp spots all the way around or in the background there. So just rotating the stamp because it seems to fit nicely into itself if you rotate it around. I need to stamp it off. It's not that heavy a colour, but you could if you wanted to. Um, I think I'm just trying to work out where I put it. Sort of just around the sort of centre of your of your um, of your tag. Okay. I don't know why I like it that, but I really did actually quite like that background. Okay, so what we're going to do now is bring our little swirl of stars in. I'm going to glue that onto our gift tag, probably from one side to the other. And just pop some glue, if my glue will um, cooperate. Just touches of it around the larger areas bit tricky because it's quite fine you don't want to overdo the glue and it's going to overlap a little bit so don't go too close as too close to the edges work out which way I've done it this way okay I'll just touch that down forgive the wobbles everything wobbles in this room That's quite nice. I like that. I might just put a touch of glasses off. I might put just a touch of glue under this, this end here. Just to stick it down. Come on, you. There. Okay, so that's quite cute in itself, I think. Alright, so now let's add all our little bonus stars that we got that we didn't pay for. Well, we did, but we didn't pay for on purpose. Just pop them around the place. Don't want to waste gold, um, gold foil by any stretch. I'll just pop these around. Can never have too many stars, eh? Nope. has joined us Robin and Faina hello Faina Faina is one of my dear work friends hope you're feeling well my love um, and where are we going to pop this last one we're going to cover over a few of them so it doesn't really matter too much but I might pop this one trying to work out somewhere it's not going to be completely covered up here okay so we've got our stars happening Ooh. there we go lovely I think you could probably stop there really it's quite pretty really with the stars on the on the tag there but we're not going to stop there I'm going to bring in these two cardstock stars that I've um, that I cut the big one big solid one and the, and the hollow one. I'm going to bring those in as well. Oh, this glue, I might have to swap. Now it comes out too much. 
and we'll pop one of our stars just there and our hollow one just there just overlapping slightly at a slightly different angle there we are cool awesome so hopefully you like that that's pretty special might get rid of a bit of that excess glue just gently okay so there is our little gift tag all the stars happening there that's pretty pretty glittery anyway so there it is there hopefully you like that so what then we can do is we'll bring our bag of diet popcorn out of its other little bag so I've tied that off with some of the um, gold ribbon the shimmer ribbon the gold shimmer ribbon it's um oh, how wide is it quarter of an inch so 6.4 mil wide ribbon so i've already tied off my my bag of diet popcorn there so you pop that in there and then we can bring our little gift tag up and over and just tie another little bow at the front She says, like it's easy. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, especially with inky, uh, with gluey fingers. Okay, so there we are. You could also attach your gift tag just at the front there, um, just on the front of your gift bag, but I've made it a little bit long, so I thought it's probably nicer to um, attach it to the actual present inside as well. So there we are, quite a, a nice way to present somebody with some diet popcorn. Um, which um, it doesn't sound too uh, appetizing. Now I'll put that one aside and bring back the original that I have um, that I created earlier, and um, I'll show you I'll show you another way of actually um, presenting this bag with the ribbon for handles, which I noticed uh, when I saw one on Facebook here recently. So I've got my old non-stamping up. I think I've had it since the kids were in school. Actually, I've probably had it since I was in school, um, hole punch. So what I'm going to do is bring in some ribbon. Excuse me, I'll grab some ribbon. So this is a fairly wide ribbon. It's actually um, retired. It's from last year's Christmas catalogue. And I didn't use it all, so I thought it probably would be nice for this. But it's, it's actually got the same gold in it as the um, the gold of the paper so I think they were actually meant to be together so what I'm going to do is just stand, um, punch a couple of holes in our the sides of our bag trying to get them the same distance apart and on the other side as well And then grab our ribbon and pop it through the hole. Hopefully it's big enough. And tie it. You could, um, I suppose you could um, glue it or um, sort of use some cellophane tape or something to pop it on the inside. But I'm actually just going to tie a knot in it. That hopefully we'll stop it coming back through. Maybe two knots, <laughs> or maybe I'll glue it. A double knot. It's quite a big hole that one. Yeah, that's better. And then I'll cut it to size. So I want it to come up like that and around like that. And cut it there. And then take it. Well, hubby's home from swimming. Take it back through and tie it off again. And twice. There we are. We've 
I've got one on that side and I'll do the same on this side I might actually just what have I got here sticky tape wise I don't know what I've got got some masking tape that might do as a demonstration let's try this one with the sticky tape or the masking tape whatever you've got to hand so if I pop that in there and then pop the creating on the on the run here I didn't think that far ahead did I okay so that's in there with some masking tape same deal around and up and measure I've got enough back through the hole and with some more so there are two ways of doing that you can either glue it or you can um, sticky tape it or you can tie it off I don't know which I prefer actually I think I prefer the sticky tape side so there you are you've turned that into a little a little handbag or a little handled gift bag there as well so that's a different way of doing it to to the other one that I've made then you'd have to pop that gift tag um, probably on those on that on that ribbon instead or we'll leave that one okay I think I actually for ease I think I prefer it this way okay so that's all I needed to show you guys today short and sharp as I promised these will be no sort of hanging around all day we'll sort of just get them out of the way and move on so that's my little gift bag for today I do have a couple of other um, 3D objects, uh, 3D projects that I wanted to show you over the next few days. We've got eight days to go. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Um, and um, I will let you go, get on with your Sunday, and um, I will see you all again for the next um, next in my series of 12 days of Christmas. Um, this time tomorrow morning. So thanks for joining me, and I'll talk to you all later.